Hey everyone, it's Mr. Foster, and uh, we're just going to take a few minutes today and go over this student example literary essay. I'm going to point a few things out to you. You spent a lot of time last Wednesday taking a look at what a literary essay is, and, and I read this to you on Wednesday and, um, and all of those things. One, let's talk again about how they named uh, their child student. One, it's kind of interesting that their last name was Example, and then they named their, their, their child Student. So we've got Student Example is the first and last name. I thought that was kind of cool, something to think about down the road for all of you. Um, but, but let's kind of get right to this. Um, first, no, notice that you know, you've got your overall template here. We've used this before, Name, Writing, Mr. Foster, your date will go here. And then we've got our, our title here. Yours will say, the three little pigs. Of course, this is our puppet's parrot example, though. Um, now, this is the introduction to all of this, and um, right here, right here, this is the claim. Okay, so our claim for the three little pigs literary essay is that the third little pig is an admirable character. And actually, I want to kind of re-highlight this again. Right, we're going to go right here. Okay, it starts a little bit later than what I had. Uh, let's read the claim from this student regarding the Puppet's Parrot example. In the story, Puppet's Parrot by Cynthia Ryland, I believe that deep down, Harry cared about his father all those years. That is this person's claim. It is their opinion. Their main opinion is that Harry did care about his father through all of those years. Now, with the Three Little Pigs essay, we have three reasons to support that. We have that the third little pig is Admiral because one, he is hardworking, two, brave, and three, smart. In this essay, they only had two. So I just wanted to point that out. These are their two reasons. I believe he cared because he always walked by the shop. This is reason number one in this. And the second one is because he took good care of the shop. So there are the two. We have three for ours that we're going to be writing down the road. This person just had two. So once again, this introduction is a few things. Um, it just kind of starts off with a nice little, you know, kind of intro here. We're going to get to this in a minute. Um, but, but eventually they get to the claim, okay, and then they introduce the two reasons. Now, notice here, uh, he always walked by the shop. That comes first. Well, we've done this before with our informational writing and some other things. If we're going to mention this first in an introduction, it's going to come first here. Okay. Uh, notice first, Harry is caring. Here's the claim again. Harry is caring. That is the claim. Almost rhymes too. Because he always walked by the shop. So notice this is the first one that they mentioned here. It's also going to be the first one that, that's mentioned here. So this is our topic sentence for this paragraph. This is our reason number one that supports our claim that he's caring. Now, everything below this, all of this, is just going to be evidence from the text. Okay. So Harry is caring because he always walked by the shop. Well, we need to prove that now. So this is all evidence from the text that, that is going to support um, the claim, and then reason number one. A few things that this writer did a very nice job with, uh, the word although, not only did, these are nice kind of transitional words right here. This shows that. This right here is proving, this phrase here, this shows that. This is uh, your your real evidence. It's It's really proving what you're trying to show up here. And I also like how they included some things from the text. Notice the quotes here. Um, not only did Harry walk past the shop, but he noticed the details like Harry had never seen the shop closed or Mr. Tillian was always talking to the bird. Those are lines straight from the text. Now, the second reason was he took good care of the shop as well. Well, here we go right here. Uh, because when his father got sick, he took really good care of the shop and, of course, Rocky. Okay. Now, uh, here we are in body section number two, reason number two, and then everything below this. This is all just going to be proof. It's going to be the evidence from the story that that provides the, the, the proof or the evidence for this reason right here that circles back to our main claim that he is caring. Okay. Uh, this is a paragraph here. This is our fourth overall paragraph. Intro, body section one, body section two. This is called a counterclaim. This is going to be a lesson that we're going to take a look at down the road. But basically what the counterclaim does is 
it offers up some some insight to what others may say. Uh, not all of our opinions are right. Not all of our opinions are matched by other people. I may say that I think that McDonald's is the best fast food restaurant, and somebody out there may say that they think Taco Bell is the best fast food restaurant. We both would have our own evidence to support that. But what we need to do here is acknowledge what someone else may think, but still try to prove them wrong and and have our opinion stand tall. So, however, some may say that Harry doesn't care about his dad. And yeah, you know, some people may say that. I mean, Harry kind of deserted him there for a few years and he hung out with all of his friends after school and, you know, kind of blah, 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 blah. So, um, and, and that gets brought up here. Instead of going straight to his father at the hospital, you know, he, Harry went to the candy store to take care of it. It shows that he does care. Uh, he wanted to make his father proud of him. Um, you know, it, we the, the, it's kind of like you want to pile on on top of what you've already done to make sure that, that we fight back against anybody else's claims. We're going to have a whole lesson about this paragraph down the road. We'll talk way more about it later. But then, of course, we, we end with the conclusion. In conclusion, nice transitional phrase here. Uh, and, and right away, look what they do right away. Check it out. I believe that Harry is caring. So they go right back to the claim. And what are the two reasons to support that? Because he always went by the shop. And the second reason is he took good care of the things after his dad got sick. We then just kind of want to close with something to kind of wrap up. Although for some of the story, he didn't quite realize it. Harry always cared for his dad. And this is a, a nice kind of wrap up sentence where once again, we, we, we mention the claim one more time. And then we've got the two reasons one more time as well too. Okay. So this is a literary essay. Basically what we're doing here is we're forming a claim or an opinion about something that we've wrote and we want to have reasons that support it. In these reasons paragraphs, paragraph two and three, we want to have evidence that supports it. Okay. Uh, now moving on our lesson today, I'm going to have all of you try to write the introduction. Now let's take a look at this structure here a little close and I'd like you to just kind of you know, use this as a mentor text and use this as a template for maybe what you could do. There's really two ways to do this. The first is exactly what they did here. They kind of just set it up. They had two sentences that kind of just led us into the claim. They kind of talked a little bit about, um, you know, what the claim is. Remember, our claim is being an admirable character or an admirable person. So you could kind of just talk about what it maybe means to be admirable. What, what does that look like to where someone can look up to you or a character or a person? Okay, because that's what admirable is. It means that, that, that they are a role model. Okay, so they kind of took a couple of sentences here then. Uh, well, and you know what? Looks like they did three sentences. They had three sentences that led us to what comes next is the claim. Okay, uh, right here is our claim. In the story, Pup is Paired by Cynthia Ryland, I believe that deep down, Harry cared about his father for all of those years. So we had kind of a couple of intro sentences, then the claim, then, there's the claim, then third, it's the two reasons. What are the two reasons that support that claim? This is one way to set up the intro. Another way, and a lot of students will do it this way, they go right to the claim, straight to it. You could just start with this. Uh, then maybe you come to your two reasons, and then maybe you could close with some of these things. That's another way. Um, when in doubt, there's nothing wrong at all with just using this template taking a couple of sentences to start, getting the reader familiar with what it means to be admirable and some of those things, then get to your claim, then your reasons could close. So when in doubt, follow the template that's here. Uh, if you want to go the other way and you want to just start right on out with the claim, that works really well too. Okay, so those are kind of the two ways that you can kind of provide that introduction. Attached to Google Classroom is going to be your template. And all that I'm going to be asking you to do today is just to simply write the introduction and then stop. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on uh, a literary essay and hope you're all doing really well. Reach out if you need any help and uh, we'll talk to you soon.